Hey, Simmers and Animal Lovers, it's Erin, the Rescue Simmer. Welcome back to the finale episode of season two of the 100 Foster Puppy Challenge, the cutest 100 challenge in all of Sims YouTube, if I do say so myself. Guys, do you remember when I said, oh, probably a couple episodes ago, that this was a really flammable room and that it was gonna be fine? And we can see <laughs> Zeus here playing in a pile of ashes. Uh, that's because when I came in to get screenshots for last episode's pups to put on the thumbnail, um, our living room caught fire because literally everything is wood. Um, actually the toys in the living room caught fire because they were on this hearth. Yeah, so self-fulfilling prophecy right there. We've got our girls chilling out with the pups. You guys, it is age up day. It is birthday day. Oh, what's going on with Panda? I'm gonna call her to eat. Oh my gosh, it looks like Kuan Yin has gotten sick. Our dogs are really get. oh, it's probably because you're eating poop. Oh my gosh, who does that? Stop, ew, stop, don't do that. Um, let's, okay, let's give a wellness treat first and foremost, because Erin is prepared. And then can we like, can we tell her not yet? Let's not eat poop. This is probably what got you sick in the first place. It looks like we have a trash plant here. Lovely. That's great. Let's just, let's just throw this away. Whew. All right. Uproot the trash plant. Thank goodness Kuan Yin is feeling better. Emma is going to take care of some, some stuff. Fire's out. Perfect. Emma is actually the one that put the fire out. I don't, I don't remember either Emma or Erin. I wish that I was recording you guys because it was, oh, uh, it was a sight to see. That's for sure. And all of that really before 9 a.m., uh, that was that was a lot. So we're gonna have Erin take care of a few of her needs. Um, our dog's collars are coming off, like the cones, they're gonna be coming off, so we can definitely train up some dogs today. And you guys, I had, I made a discovery that I think I'm super happy about. It is actually not Aaron's birthday. Aaron's birthday is down here. We've got about 10 days left, nine, 10 days left before Aaron's birthday. It is actually only Emma's birthday. I don't know how I missed that, but I'm so glad, so glad that we have some extra time with Aaron. I felt like this adulthood went really quickly for her. So it's a relief to know that we will have her around with us. So today, actually, we only have Emma's birthday. We do have this winter cake and no, it's not season appropriate anymore. It's spring, uh, but it's only the first day of spring. Having a party at the park, I am hoping will mean that all of our pups that have been adopted, at least locally, will show up um, because that is, I've made it a dog park. So we'll see. I'm not going to be trying too awful hard to train these dogs. We absolutely want them to be able to be ready for homes. And to be honest, if we can have... Uh, actually, I don't know. If we can get just two of them ready to go, then we can get puppies number 49 and 50 here. We have had 48 dogs be fostered by us. I'm so excited for that number. That is an impressive number. It's not the 50 that I was hoping for, but it is definitely nothing to shake a stick at. I must know that we are party planning today because she is coming over just saying hi to Erin. I might actually stop her because I don't think, I don't think anyone else's cones are off. It's just Kuan Yin's, but we may be able to remove cones. We can, we can remove cones on all the dogs. Okay, let's grab this off of Loki. By the way, guys, I was misgendering Loki the entire last episode, except when I was introducing her. That bugged me so much in editing. <laughs> I am so sorry you guys had to listen to that. Loki is a female. I'm gonna be doing my best to get it right. Oh my goodness. Okay, so our dogs are like wandering all outside of our property. I do not enjoy this. Even a little. Yes, thank you Zeus for uh, lapping that up. I very much appreciate it. Let's lecture about drinking from that puddle, sir. And if I was going to say that two dogs were the most ready, I would probably, yay, couldn't even learn how to sit. I would say it would probably be Freya and Loki. Uh, just because of their traits. They are the more friendly animals. I probably would want to spend a little bit more time with Kuan Yin, Zeus, and Aries because they have aggressive traits. So we're going to remove cones off of those dogs. Thank goodness Kuan Yin has 
uh, had her cone off. She's got sit trained definitely with those aggressive dogs. We want to make sure that their obedience is up to par. Oh, look at them. Panda, you are being such a great foster sister. Thank you so much. Now that we've got some of our dogs with their cones off, actually all of the dogs looks like they have their cones off. That's outstanding. We're going to be training up a storm. Emma won't age up until six o'clock, so we don't have to worry too awful much about that. I do think that we can get two other puppies at least by the time this episode ends, if not by the time Emma ages up but I would love to be able to accept those pups in as soon as possible. So we are just gonna be training up a storm. I knows the, oh no. Oh no, 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 oh dear. Okay, so Zeus, we don't attack, buddy. Oh my goodness. You, sir, you, sir, cannot do that. No, sir. Poor dude. He's like, I just want everybody to go away. I just want to have my people. And guys, I do want to call out too. Let's uh, let's ask you to go potty because I saw that you had to. I do want to call out that in The Sims, aggressive dogs won't be just aggressive to everybody indiscriminately. Aggressive dogs um, and territorial cats, because that's the equivalent kind of mean trait, I guess, for you are drinking from the toilet. Sir, lecture about drink from the toilet. Let's not do that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, our resident troublemaker. Um, at least he's cute though, right? Like, look at that face. Can you be mad at that face? So I did want to call out that the territorial trait for cats and the aggressive trait for dogs doesn't mean that they will attack anyone. It means that they will be less friendly and will attack or could attack any Sim that does not belong to your Sims household. So that could be cats, dogs, Sims, anybody um, like that. Nice job, Loki. Loki learned to sit. We are now gonna be moving on to lie down. Don't tell me you don't know what to do with that dog. Of course you know what to do with that dog. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, she needs to use the bathroom so bad. Um, oopsie. And we have Freya who has to learn not to drink from a puddle. Uh, Freya, I don't believe has a troublemaker trait. So once we teach her, she should know. We need to only correct her a couple of times. Um, she just, you know, like I said, you can't know until you know, can't know until you're told. So we know that she shouldn't be doing this, but she's apparently never learned that. <laughs> so Emma is coming down just to say, no, thank you. And then we're gonna take this opportunity to, con to continue her sit training. There we go, phew. I can't believe she's already tired. Oh no, girl, you got a party to go to. Wait, what am I thinking? Reward store and sleep replacement. That's exactly what we do in this 100 puppy challenge in this 100 puppy world. Like I said, way of life, get it gone, girl. Erin, I, I am gonna ask you to use the bathroom as soon as you possibly can. And it looks like you can use some sleep replacement too. I'm so sorry. She has 8,000, over 8,000 satisfaction points, you guys. We gotta figure out a way to do this. What should we do with Erin? I would love her to be able to stick around to see Emma's, like the next gen, whether she adopts, whether she has a pregnancy. Yay, it's Emma's birthday, perfect. Loki, learn to lie down, good job, Loki. All right, good girl, can you give me one more? Can you, uh, we need to use the potty, okay. Um, I forgot, I'm so excited <laughs> that we are, we're getting this done, man. Let's drink this, let's throw this one away. Look at Erin doing her potty walk. <laughs> She's like, I'm so dedicated. I nearly peed my pants. Freya learned to sit. Nice job. Good girl. Let's do some more training. Let's do lie down. Sit, lie down. Those are really good ones to do at very first. Anything that helps your dogs be able to listen to you far away with what to do with their bodies, what to where to place their bodies, make them safer. So I always love those two. Shake is just a fun one and an easy one to train very first. It gives your dogs some confidence and it's also pretty practical. So if you have to cut their nails, if you have to look at something in their paw pad, it is really great if you can teach them paw or shake or whatever your word is for it, for them to give you their paw willingly. And Loki is running all over like a mad lady like a crazy lady. So let's teach her heal. She is an energetic dog. So I want to make sure that 
anywhere she feels like she can go, she just needs to check back in with her handler, with her owner. Great, so Darren's calling to brag that he has for sure moved on from us. Um, it looks like that dog had to go potty, so we're gonna ask Loki to use the bathroom first, and then we will move on to training. Come on, Loke. All right, sweetie, do you need to go potty? Let's try to do that outside. She learned to pee outside, yay! <laughs> Wonderful! I don't think Mr. Mister has gotten into any trouble, which I'm super proud of him for. And it looks like Panda is just really enjoying her time by the fire. That is super sweet. She's like, of all the dogs, she is super preoccupied with that. I'm just gonna throw this glass away. Aries is just being such a sweet dog and playing with these toys. Aw, Aaron really likes Aries quite a bit, I will say that. And Aries likes Fre or likes Freya, <laughs> likes Aaron also. Zeus, I was just bragging on you. What are you doing, dude? Yeah, I know, it's gross. Aaron, instead of complaining about it, why don't you just lecture Zeus about playing in puddles and move this before we step on it. So Freya has these two trained commands. Let's train Freya with her last one. Let's do shake. Um, shake is gonna be a cute one for her. Erin, did I tell, okay. It is lovely to be able to pet those dogs, but we need to offer a correction when our dogs give us the opportunity to give one. <laughs> we need to make sure that we are getting them ready for their families. Oh, buddy, don't be afraid, it's okay. Give him a big treat. Let him know we love him. He is still our good boy. We would just prefer that he act a different way. Nice job. I love this image of these two just doing what they've always done together. I do think Emma really does have a passion for this. We're gonna sell all of these plants. Uh, we don't have very long until basically our party happens. I think these look like they need watering to me, but I don't have the option to water any of them. It is looking a little concerning though. And here's that cute little bunny Snickers. I honestly don't know why I bothered to name Snickers. It's not like we even have time to build a relationship with him. Hi, Panda. <laughs> but I mean, he's there, his name is Snickers. He's really cute. So it makes me happy to see. With this energetic dog, Loki, let's train some fetch because Loki was having a play break. I think that that would be a really great thing to be able to teach Loki, use some of that running some of that energy yay freya learned to shake freya is ready to go you guys look at this she's got sit she's got shake she's got lie down oh i'm so happy i'm actually shocked that she learned those commands as well she doesn't tend to take correction as easily as some of the other dogs but she does seem to learn her commands pretty well actually guys it is almost five o'clock i'm hoping that Erin can just put this ball in her inventory. Let's do that. I'm gonna grab our cake, put this in our inventory, and then I'm gonna see you guys at Volt Park. Awesome, everybody's here. Okay, so we're gonna get this cake out <laughs> massively quick because I do not want her to age up on us without it. Perfect, it's so pretty. Like I said, this is my favorite cake in the entire game. I think even above the wedding cakes. Let's get everybody heading over to that cake. Look at them, they are taking selfies oh hi fox so i specifically invited chewy because i remember we gave him to a family that is not local to henford on bagley and i actually have a mod in that makes it so that um i oh loki <laughs> so so that we um only see sims that live in the area or are from the gallery in our worlds oh no i told aaron to age up um that's not what I wanted. Oh, I'm so sorry, Aaron. That's that's a lie. That's a lie. Okay, so Aaron's gonna be an elder. <laughs> Oops. Um, but not really. We're gonna go back and like age her down. Um, that she she has a week left. Uh, I'm gonna have to remember it was on a Tuesday that she is aging up. Uh, not today. Emma, my dear, how about you? <laughs> How about you blow out your birthday candles? Look at Dwayne. <laughs> oh, look. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Elm is attacking Dwayne while Emma ages up. Okay. Emma, girl, what? I don't know what your wish is, but she's <laughs> making a wish in all of this chaos. Oh, did she even age up? 
she did. So she, that was really fast. So this is our adult Emma. Let's have everybody take a piece of cake. While they are sitting down, I think I'm gonna go ahead and give Emma a, uh, a makeover and get Erin set back down the way that she ought to be. Okay, first things first, we have to fix my oopsie. There we go, Erin is still an adult. It's gonna say that she's a lot younger than she is. I am going to have to remember when she ages up. I have it written down, so, ooh. Um, also, we didn't get to pick a trait for her. I would love this to be randomized, but I don't want it to replace what we already have. Actually, no, I don't. I do want her to be a dog lover. Um, that is gonna be her last trait. Amazing. So she is an overachiever. She is self-assured and she is a dog lover. Right now I have her set to the neighborhood confidant. Now that she's an adult, that may actually come more into play. So let's take a look. She's had this hairstyle, it's so cute, I love it, but she's had it for a while. I think maybe she would grow her hair out. Her short hair has been so cute and iconic, but I think as her young adult, eras, come on, as her 20s are here, she might try something a little bit longer. Maybe she just doesn't want the upkeep of cutting it all the time. This is actually kind of cute on her. Although this to me says Emma a little bit more. I do like it. It is a little bit more grown out and it's still away from her face. It's kind of cute, but it's got that sort of tussled look. Like she didn't go and straighten or curl her hair. She's just letting it be natural. And she's got like a little flip half ponytail kind of thing. I do like that quite a bit on her. Now, as a 90s kid, <laughs> or she's dressed kind of like a 90s kid to me, I think as we approach our 20s, we might try to grow her up a little. Oh, this is cute. Oh, I love this. You know what, girl, let me let me help you out. Um, we're gonna get you, see, they're still the same size. She, <laughs> she just got a more supportive bra is what I'm saying. And you know what, guys? I thought that I was gonna be able to do this with you, but to be honest, I'm I'm just trying everything out. I don't have a really good sense of her style quite yet. So I think I'm gonna try a couple of other things and then I will just meet you back here and introduce the new Emma to you. Alrighty, guys, so here is our new girl. This is actually, uh, this top is from Cats and Dogs. It is normally the swatch with like the wolf on it. So it's normally this one that you see. I actually really loved this. I thought that it was a nice relaxed look, nice relaxed fit. I think that Emma is one of those that dresses for comfort. She wants to know that she looks good, but she's not gonna be like overly, I don't know, buttoned up, bound up, you know, that kind of thing. Here's her formal wear. I actually have her in two. This is her normal formal wear, which I think is so pretty. We're gonna say that she got extensions for a formal event. And then I gave her a wedding look just in case. Like I don't think that she's gonna find somebody, but if she did, you know, we've got, we're ready, you know? Her athletic wear, I kept pretty, the, pretty much the same. Um, I didn't think that we saw this very much. And so we'll keep it. I'm not bored of it yet. This is her new sleepwear. I love, these are from Cats and Dogs again. Uh, they come in the cat swatch is what you see first. I thought that they were super cute in the dog ones. So she's got a little robe. She's got some leggings sticking out of it. I would like to think that maybe she has like a nighty top or something on underneath. This is her party wear. We didn't see too much of that either. I kept that the same. This is her swimwear. I think coral is her color. She looks amazing in it. This is her hot weather wear. I still think this is cute as a button. I wanna see this. And her new winter wear. It's not terribly like cold proof, but um, I don't think she's gonna have to worry about it. And I'll tell you why in a minute. Aw, Emma is just sitting down with Mayra. It actually said that she had not great compatibility with Mayra. I don't know that I agree with that. Uh, so let's tell Mayra a, a, an engaging story. Uh, her friends did come, they're not adults yet. She just aged up beforehand. Really what I'm thinking, while Erin is teaching a very dirty Loki to fetch, hopefully we can get this done ASAP, um, is that I think that now that Emma is an adult, I would like to hand the baton off to her, even though Erin isn't an elder yet. And I think that Emma is going to be moving. 
Uh, Hinford on Bagley has been a wonderful place for her to grow up. It brought her her mom. I think definitely Erin was really entranced with this place. I think Erin wanted to travel abroad. Uh, she found a wonderful home, but Emma has been asking a lot about where Erin came from. So they want to move back to Samarica, but not in Newcrest where Erin came from. Erin and Emma want to move to someplace warm, to someplace coastal. I think that they want to move to someplace iconic, and they've heard a lot Emma has always heard a lot in her history books and her world geography classes about San Sequoia. Yay, Loki learned to fetch! <laughs> Emma doesn't know if she wants to live there permanently, but she shared with her mom that she really does want to move to Samarica out of the United Simdom, where Hinford on Bagley is. And Erin, of course, loves her daughter very much um, and kind of misses Samarica too. So she's gonna go with her baby because she's not going to let her just set up camp here. They are gonna say goodbye to a lot of their friends and not immediately, but they're gonna start making their way over. Oh, look it, aw. Little Chewy is asking to use the bathroom. I say little, he's massive, he's a St. Bernard. He is one of those dogs that has my heart. I believe that he was given to a family in Copperdale, though I'm not 100% sure. I'm gonna have to double check. It's gonna be really hard to leave our dogs that we have raised and to leave the community that we've become such a part of, but I'm super excited guys for next season. So next season we will be starting in San Sequoia and I think we're going to have some very cool family things. Oh, Chewy. Like I said, he's one of my favorite dogs. I know that he is a fan favorite too. So I wanted to make sure that he came for the birthday party. So let's, oh no, we're okay. We're fighting. <laughs> All right, so as almost, oh my God. Look, as almost all things do, uh, when, when we're starting to fight, it is time to go. <laughs> so let's go home. Let's travel. Aw, Mayra came back with us in this total stranger. Hi, Daphne. Daphne, hey, uh, we have a dog that's ready for you. You're a young adult. Why don't we do a cheerful introduction? Guys, now that we have our girls appropriately aged, it is time to start rehoming these animals. Like, I'm so excited. So before I go ahead and pop into the world manager, I wanted to take a look. Loki looks like she's a sleuth who is active and playful. Okay, so great, those are awesome traits. Uh, so long as you get the right person to work with her, keep her busy. And our beautiful Freya, who is a sleuth, friendly and stubborn. I'm gonna go ahead, pop into manage worlds. And let's get some dogs rehomed. First up, we're going to be doing Freya. I'm not quite sure what happened to our mare, but it looks like Sonia Blackwell is our new mare. They only wear that outfit when they're performing the NPC roles. So I think I would love to give her Freya because I would imagine that a mayor is established in a community, is established in their career, their political career, and has the ability to give kind of undivided attention. I would imagine that Miss Blackwell will give her a great home in the estate that she deserves. Next up is Loki. With Loki's traits, I absolutely want to find a family. We gotta keep this pup busy. This pup has high energy. This pup is playful. I want to make sure that they have a wonderful loving household to go to. And I'm thinking really that any of these would be a great choice, but why not? Why not give Loki to the Luna Sullivan household? They have an older child and with a dog that's really active, I think that Carmine would be able to go ahead and keep up with Loki, would be inter interested to entertain Loki. And this is a great gaggle of gals. Anyway, why not make it a fourth? So congratulations to Freya and to Loki. You are rehomed and you guys, you know what that means. It means that, oh my gosh, Quia, no, 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 no. We don't attack, we don't attack, we don't attack. No, thank you. Let's, let's not attack. Let's stop talking leisurely like just nothing happened. Let's actually deal with this. Poor Mayra, I am so sorry, gal. She, she just watched, she's like, I need a minute, hold on. 
Oh, look at how cute she's trying to be. Okay, so on top of that attack, clearly we're managing these dogs very well. Let's bring in our final two puppies of the season. Alrighty, everybody, I'm so excited. Okay, so we have, ooh, they're not neat little lines anymore. Oh my goodness, Meryl is such a cute English setter. And look at Grant, oh. You know, I don't think we've had a Rottweiler yet, but I have to focus. <laughs> okay, so we have Betty, who is a boxer, uh, so cute. This is Booker, he's an adult, so we won't worry about him. We have Chestnut, who is another Norwegian Bahund. We've had that before. Cleo, who is a Parson Russell Terrier. Very similar looking to the Jack Russell Terrier. I don't believe we've had one of those before. We have Fabo, who's a Schnauzer. We definitely had a Schnauzer before. Gracie is an adult. Grant is a Field Spaniel. I think we've had a Field Spaniel before. Other Grant. <laughs> who's a great Pyrenees. You know what? I know for sure that one of you has a great Pyrenees, so we are definitely doing Grant. We have three Grants. Oh, the rescue must be running out of names. We have Sansa, who is a Lhasa Opso puppy. We've had a Lhasa Opso before. And Shredder, who's just a mixed breed. Ooh, that's cool. I don't believe we've had a Boxer. Shredder is looking awful cute though. I don't know. Okay, let's, let's do a Boxer. Let's do a boxer. Oh, mom and daughter are gonna go chat. Look at this puppy. Oh, hi, Betty. Oh, and Grant, that's so cute. Oh no, who is attacking? Please stop. Okay, I'm not quite sure who that is. It won't let me like scold anybody. New family dynamic is close. Yes, absolutely. Looks like Emma and Aaron just adore spending time with each other. Such comfortable camaraderie among family members is a blessing. Family members with a close family dynamic will actively seek each other's company when nearby, keep in better touch when living separate households, oh, and gain additional positive moodlets from spending quality time together. Would you say that the family dynamic between Emma and Aaron is close? I absolutely would, absolutely. So we're gonna go say hi to this puppy. Let's go ahead and figure some things out about Betty. To my knowledge, I think Betty is a girl. I forgot already. Ooh, Betty's adventurous. Oh, it looks like we're meeting Grant. Grant is also a female puppy. Okay, so that's good to know. So we have, I think, a household. No, that's not right. Aries is a male. So I was about to say we're going to have a household of all men. Oh, <laughs> Betty is a glutton. Grant is active. I'm gonna have them find out some more traits because we're naming these puppies after gods and goddesses. I wanna know a little bit more about their personality before I jump into naming them. All right, so Betty is a smart glutton who is adventurous. Okay, so she's a female. Let's go ahead and adopt Betty in. Yes, we wanna adopt this pet. So I think I'd like to change Betty's name to Frigg. She was a wife of Zeus, so she's a Norse goddess. Hello, Frigg. Okay, so Grant is also a female. She's active, a troublemaker, and friendly. So she is going to need lots of jobs to keep her busy. Let's adopt Grant for now in. Yes, we wanna adopt this pet. So Grant's name started with a G and I was looking up some more Norse goddess names and the name, I think it's Na came up. It looks like she's a messenger for Frigg. So in, in Norse mythology. So welcome Na and Frigg. You guys, we have 50 puppies. We've had 50 puppies. Our Emma girl is all aged up. We have Aaron aging up again in about nine days or so next Tuesday. Oh my gosh, it is now Monday morning. It's so late. I'm gonna have to get these girls to bed. Thank you guys for chilling with me through this entire season. Emma, don't burn the place down. It has been an amazing season two. You guys are outstanding. I love all of your involvement in this. You guys, we're gonna have puppy number 51 next season. I can't wait to spin for our next name categories. Y'all, I hope you have just a wonderful week. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting, leaving me those lovely comments. And y'all, I will see you next season in San Sequoia for the next season three of the 100 Foster Puppy Challenge. As always, you guys, happy simming.